will discuss number system. What is number system? Actually, since the beginning of the universe, when the human being came into existence, it has a tendency to learn everything. Whatever is around him, he has ability to find out the details. Insan ya manush ke andar ek visheshta hai, khasiyat hai, ki uske paas jo kuch aata hai, wo usko samajhne ki aur jaanne ki koshish karta hai. Sabse pehle jab insan ke paas, is manush ke paas kuch vastuye hain, when he got something in his possession, he started to keep the record of his belongings. Jab uske paas kuch cheeze hain, kuch personal cheeze hain, to usne jaanne ki koshish ki ki mere paas kya kya hai, unka hisab rakhne ki koshish ki. Uske liye usko zarurat padi ginne ki. He developed a capacity to count the things he possessed and he found that it may be different in different cases. And for that purpose, he fills some symbols to count these items. So, usne in cheezo ko ginne ke liye kuch symbols fix kiye. Kuch chin banaye usne jiske dwara ho in cheezo ko gin sakta tha. See this one. It is one. So he fills a symbol for it. That is later on known as one. And this is two. This is three. Seven. Zero means nothing. So, जब एक चीज उसके position में थी, तो उसने इसको one नाम नाम दिया. एक. जब उसके 
पास दो जीवें थी टू जब उसके पास तीन थी तो थ्री जब फोर थी तो फोर जब उसके पास फाइव थी फाइव जब उसके पास सिक्स थी तो सिक्स जब सेवन थी देन सेवन देन ही एट ही टेकन द सिंबल एच एट एंड वेन इट ही हैड नाइन ही गे नाइन एंड वेन ही हैड नथिंग ही गेव द सिंबल जीरो फॉर दिस पर्पज सो दीज ऑल नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड डिजिट्स दीज आर डिजिट्स दैट मीन्स जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन दीज ऑल आर डिजिट्स and by these digits we can write any number any amount of number we can write by these 10 digits and this zero is called in significant number and rest of the numbers are called significant numbers so all these are counting numbers that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9. these are called counting numbers and 0 is insignificant number And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are significant numbers. And as a whole, they are called digits. And by these digits, we can form any number. For example, two hundred thirty-four. Right? when the human being is being invented number system first of all the natural numbers were invented and the natural numbers starts from 1 2 3 4 5 and so on up to infinity and after that when the human being found that he had one item and this item has given to some other person he had nothing for that nothing he invented zero and the set of all counting numbers including zero is called whole number and the counting numbers except zero is called natural number so the set of all counting numbers is starting from 1 up to infinity is known as natural number after that they found out that suppose he had Two rupees in his pocket, and he required five rupees to purchase something. So he had no solution for that purpose. So the if he require that five rupees from some other person and he borrows that five rupees, then what is his position of his pocket? Is minus three rupees. that means he had 2 and he borrowed 5 so 
the net amount of money he had in his pocket is a negative number. So all the numbers including positive numbers, zero and negative numbers is called integers. So integers is a set of numbers which includes negative numbers, zero and positive numbers. So this whole set is known as set of integers. These are negative integers, these are positive integers and this is zero. But suppose I bought a watermelon and I divide it in four parts to distribute it in my family then each part is symbolized as 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 so these type of numbers which are in between any two integers is known as rational number. So when we generalize the rational number it is a number which can be expressed in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers, but Q should not be 0. So this set of numbers is known as rational numbers. When we express these numbers in decimal form, these are either terminating numbers or repeating non-terminating. But there is one more type of numbers, suppose under root 2, under root 3, under root 5 and so on. These are the numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of P upon Q, where P and Q are integers and Q should not be 0, is known as irrational number. Yani, all those numbers which cannot be expressed as rational numbers are irrational numbers if they are real numbers. That means they can be expressed on the number line. All the real numbers can be expressed on this number line where 0 is always in the center of the line and it increases at the right hand side for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And on the left hand side, it is decreased to one, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So, these are the type of real numbers. The so, number system ko do type mein divide kiya sak, ja sakta hai. Real numbers mein or imaginary numbers. Real number वो है जिनको हम number line पे दिखा सकते हैं और imaginary numbers वो numbers हैं जिनको इस number line पे नहीं दिखाया जा सकता जैसा कि हम जानते हैं imaginary का मतलब क्या है काल्पनिक यानी जिसका कोई वजूद ना हो तो ऐसी चीज जो exist ही नहीं करती है इस imaginary we can just think of these type of things. So, imaginary are those things which cannot be traced on the number line. And these real numbers which can be expressed on the number line can be divided in natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers and irrational numbers. 